Dear students, welcome you all. Uh, this session deal with the problems of a uh, tenth standard physics lesson number five. That is the name of the lesson is sound. A source producing a sound of frequency ninety hertz is approaching a stationary listener. He see here the observer is stationary. No, the observer is stationary. The observer is stationary, and the source is moving, and the source is producing some sort of sound, uh, and having the frequency of ninety hertz. The frequency is written here, no, ninety hertz, and the speed. You consider the speed. The frequency is now over. You consider the speed of the uh, object. It is one ten of the speed of the sound. We know the speed of the sound is three thirty meter per second. Is it not? Uh, here, what is the data given? What is the data given? V s. What is the data given? V s is equal to V by t. The speed of the is approaching a stationary listener with the speed, a source. This is the source uh, velocity. Let us denote the source velocity as V s. V s is equal to V by ten. Okay. Now the source is moving at the velocity V by ten. That is one by tenth of the velocity of the sound waves. Now it is clear. This is the only data given here. But we know the equation for the apparent frequency. That is n dash is equal to v plus or minus v s. That is the observer o. Okay, v plus or minus v o observer. Observer is stationary, so you can put the value of v naught as zero. Okay. Now what we have the remaining one v only we are having v by v minus v s into n. This is the formula. How will you choose the formula? You have to uh, analyze whether the observer is moving, whether the source is moving. We know the general formula: v plus or minus v naught by v plus or minus v s. Okay, the observer is stationary here. See here, the observer is stationary. When the source is moving, when the source is moving, he can hear the Uh, sound waves is it not he can hear the frequency which is maximum that is the audibility of the sound is maximum when it approaches the observer now it is clear so the apparent frequency must be higher we have to get the value of the apparent frequency higher so in order to get the apparent frequency maximum in order to get the maximum value of the apparent frequency the value of that is v plus or minus v s we know that the observer is stationary how will you put the value of plus or minus you have to get the value of n as maximum to get the value of n as maximum the denominator must be less for that you can get uh, value of minus that is plus or minus numerator value must be higher why because n as you should get n as higher for that you can put plus here okay this is the logic here then you can apply this logic to all other problems don't worry or get confused uh, whether we can put plus or minus here okay now it is clear okay n dash is equal to v plus vl by v minus vs into n this is the formula you have to apply here n dash is equal to v by v minus vs into n we know v s what is the data given here v s is equal to v by So you have to substitute the value of v by ten here. Come, let us substitute in the uh, value here. For v s, you have to substitute one by ten. Okay, one by ten. If you get common denominator, multiply it by ten, then you will be getting common denominator. Then this ten will be jumped here. Ten into v. Ten into v. Now ten v minus v that is nine v. Okay, I will do this one once again. N dash is equal to v by v minus v s into n. Okay, now put the value of v here. V is equal to v by ten. Okay, now you take the common denominator, multiply. You consider one here. Ten into v minus v by ten. Okay, this ten will jump over here. 
and here you can get the value of n okay outside now v by 10 v minus v is 9 v okay here you can get 10 v then strike out v and v you will be getting 10 by 9 into what is the value of the frequency given here 90 hertz is it not so substitute the value of 90 here 900 is it not you strike out this one and this one you will be getting 10 10 into 10 it is 100 hertz this is the answer for this problem let us continue watch again 